Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to do kind of an unusual beer, kind of a gimmick beer. Well, actually, no, not kind of. It is a gimmick beer. Uh, it's this one. It is called Abushiri Okotsuka Blue Ryuho Draft. And this is made by the Abushiri uh, Beer Company, which is located in Abushiri City in Hokkaido and they were founded in 1998 uh, and Abashiri is uh, probably most famous among most Japanese for its prison uh, a very old prison I'm not sure if it's operating anymore but it was like the like, kind of like the Alcatraz of Japan way up in the in the uh, very isolated uh, uh, eastern end of Hokkaido uh, extremely cold in winter and uh, a place for true punishment and uh, actually the brewery tends to uh, hold to that as well we get punished with a variety of different styles from them um, they were founded in 1998 and they're most famous for their colored beers uh, they have their this one uh, the uh, blue uh, the Ruho draft beer they also have something called uh, Shiretoko Draft, which is a green colored beer. And they have their Sakurambo no Shizuku Cherry, uh, red colored. Uh, Kango, kan, Kangoku no Kuro, which is a black beer, or I think it's also called Abashiri Prison Stout. Um, and they have a, a Yakiniku restaurant there, a grilled meat restaurant, which has uh, Abashiri Wagyu. Uh, Apparently famous beef from that area. Uh, they claim that they do decoction brewing, and I don't know how true that is. In any case, on rate beer, uh, they have 14 different beers. On untapped, 34, and the average is 2.75 out of 5, so not terribly high. Now, this beer, this beer, uh, they claim they make it with icebergs. Uh, water from icebergs, which is ruho. Uh, and it also supposedly contains yams and the coloring from gardenia okay um, yeah so colored blue and uh, well you'll see you'll see what it is uh, at uh, festivals beer festivals I go to there's another brewery called Johanna uh, which is uh, uh, located in the central part of Japan and they are famous also for a lot of colored beers, which draw huge crowds at festivals, and the beers are uniformly bad. Uh, and actually, I guess their IPA has gotten better, but they draw crowds because of the color of their beers. And, you know, colors is a, a quality of beer, but it's not probably not the quality that we think was most important. Uh, on rate beer, this one has 71 ratings. Uh, the average is 2.11, 2.11 out of 5. 3 percentile, 3 percentile for all beers on rate beer, and 4 for its style, and the style is considered flavored other. It's a 5 percenter, and uh, so the, the style is kind of indeterminate, flavored other, 5 percent, and uh, untapped 2,000. 621 ratings and the average is 2.55. Uh, I have rated this before. I gave it a grand total of 1.6 out of 5 and that was that was uh, six, six years ago. Uh, in any case, shall we give this one a go? It's got a nice, nice can, can art. You know, there's a whale here on the whale swimming among the icebergs which what are they going to do when there are no more icebergs there? I guess they'll just have to stop making this beer. Okay, here we go. You asked for it, and this is what you get. Uh, the color's not quite coming through here uh, as well as it should, but but if I... Uh, maybe if I get something white behind it, in any case, I, you get the idea. Here, okay, it is a, a, a kind of a icebergy blue uh, with a finger of foamy, foamy bubbles on top, uh, white foam on top, and moderate carbonation rising. 
guess you can't really see that, but in any event, I'm not looking forward to this. It's been a long time, and it probably will be another six years if, if ever I drink this again. Okay. It's got sort of a candyish, kind of soft drink sort of nose. It smells like light cologne and maybe spirits. Does it have spirits? It doesn't say so. It has barley and hops and coloring from Gucina. Anyway, yeah. It um, doesn't say it has spirits, but. Very light sweetness, almost nothing. Uh, very watery body. It does taste like a like a flavored iceberg, I guess. Um, this is not really beer. Uh, it's kind of on the edge of that. There's almost zero hops. I, they don't list how many IBUs they have, but man, would you drink cologne? I, I you know I, I don't I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is, and and it isn't what it isn't. Uh, so, uh, or it isn't what it is, I guess, as well. Okay, well, that's enough for that. Uh, I'm not going to recommend this anymore. Uh, again, this is a gimmick beer, uh, maybe a souvenir beer if you're up in Hokkaido. Uh, uh, you can pick this up and try it. I do not recommend it at all. Um, uh, you'd be... Uh, you know, much better off trying just a regular Sapporo beer if you're up in Hokkaido, I guess. Um, in any case, once again, this is Abashiri Okhotsuka Blue Ryuho Draft uh, flavored other at 5%. And uh, um, yeah, give it a miss. That's enough. Okay, that's it for today. Take care and uh, stay healthy. Uh, drink good beer. All right, bye bye.